this is Marianne at the library. How may I help you? Uh, hi, Marianne. This is Joby Zarnecki with the Geosystems Research Institute. I was calling to say I really enjoyed the presentation you gave last week on open data. Gosh, it seems like it's really growing in popularity in the sciences. Well, I'm really glad you enjoyed the presentation. Uh, open data is not only getting more popular, but now it's actually required by many research funding agencies. Well, you know, I'm curious how this applies to geospatial data, because this wasn't covered in your presentation. For our research, we're working on farm fields, and those are managed by private individuals. So they give us their data from their farm machines, um, such as like a yield monitor data, but they may also give us economics, like their costs and inputs. And you know, the difference is that those are just budget numbers, but this yield monitor data, it comes as a geospatial data file, and that's gonna have latitude and longitude. I just don't know how to open this without revealing the location of the farm, because I've got this explicit geographic information. I do know there are challenges to open data, even without the geospatial component. For instance, the quality of the data. Often researchers are forced to comply with open data, but this doesn't mean the data being shared are of high quality. As one suggestion, you could consider opening your metadata, uh, but retaining control of the data yourself. Um, it would allow your data to be findable, but would also allow you to monitor who is accessing the data. However, I do have to caution, this really doesn't comply with many of the open data policies, uh, especially the federal government's um, open government data requirements. I like that idea. I like that idea. But, I, you know, I worry, once they have my data, what prevents them from sharing it with someone else? To prevent something like that, you might consider a data enclave. Um, in an enclave, researchers have access to the data itself, but they don't have their own copy, and their privileges can be revoked when, it, when it's no longer needed. And also just worry about the data availability statements that are, you know, at the, with the journals now. I mean, some are pretty firm about requiring data for publication. I'm just not sure if open metadata or the data enclaves you're suggesting are appropriate for these types of audiences. In this case, perhaps you could do a curated data set that represents only a subset of your data. Uh, many disciplines are trying to establish a minimally acceptable data set. Uh, these have more potential for reuse and the data quality is often higher. You know, it would be great to see a concerted effort to establish a framework for how to preserve the value of the data in its context without worrying about collaborator privacy. Of course, by extension, you know, how am I going to find collaborators for future research in an open data world? Yeah, it does seem that there um, are and will be a lot of challenges ahead of us. Um, but these conversations are a great first place to start um, and maybe will help everyone move forward.